This is a LexisNexis video tutorial. Edit in PowerSearch. Looking around the new LexisNexis Academic, you might notice that almost every form has an option to edit in PowerSearch. This is a great tool if you really need to narrow your search results to the most precise search possible. To show you an example of how to do this, I want to continue a search from one of our last videos. You can find the beginning of this search in the Finding Broadcast Transcripts tutorial. So we'll start where we left off. On the TV and radio transcripts form, I typed in oil spill, selected NPR, and also selected the previous three months. Just typing the word oil spill in the search box will surely bring back good results, but since this is a hot topic at the moment, it's likely to bring back more hits than what I need or want. So I'm going to click the Edit in Power Search to use the tool on that form to narrow my results list. As you can see, all of the information that we input on the last form traveled to the Power Search form. We have oil spill, previous three months, and NPR all selected. The first thing I'm going to do is get rid of oil spill. There may be a better index term to use. So I'm going to click on the subject index to see the index pop-up box. Since I don't know the exact term I want, I'm going to click find. And usually if there's a major current event, LexisNexis will create an index term. So I'm going to type in oil spill to see if there's anything recent. And here we go, the 2010 Gulf Coast oil spill. I'm going to select that term. And since I'm already here in the index, I'm going to think of other ways to narrow my search. Like, I'm going to change the index to company and search for the company involved in the oil spill, which would be British Petroleum. So I'll select BP PLC, which is the parent company of both of these options. So now I want to think about narrowing within my search. The topic I'm most interested in about the Gulf oil spill would probably be how the shrimpers are affected in the shrimp industry and how the whole fishing industry is changing in the Gulf Coast. So I'm going to select industry and see what I can find as far as index terms go there. Again, I'll click the find. And I don't know the exact terms I'm going to search for shrimp. Okay, so if I look at all of these highlighted, I think the best term to use would probably be shellfish fishing. And I'm going to click on the little information icon to make sure I'm on the right track. As you can see, it'll give me exactly the definition of what shellfish fishing is. And another really cool thing is that it'll, it'll give frequently associated terms, which, you know, two of these we already have selected. So we're definitely on the right track. So I'm going to click OK, add to search. And as you can see, all of our terms appear here. So next I'm going to select match all terms because I want all of our results to include these three terms. And it doesn't really matter to me if it's major terms only, so I'm going to deselect that option. Another thing we could do to fur further narrow our search would be to search through sections. As you can see, there are many sections we could search through. If we wanted to narrow results to a particular city, a particular geographic location, um, how about length is greater than 700 words? So I'll add that to search. Let's see what we're at now. Hopefully it's extremely manageable since this is a precise search. And here we go, we are at three results, that's great. Now we only have to read through these three articles to find the information that we need. 
I hope that you find the edit and power search option just as useful as I do. And please continue to watch our YouTube videos, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on Twitter at LN Academic.